Hello everyone, Vita's Age 30 back again with another deck review and with today we have the Legal Tender deck and whatever that says, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is Legal Tender. These are of course from King's Wild Project, designed by Jackson Robinson, who I am not the biggest fan of right now because I pledged for this project and he cancelled my pledge because I brought up some issues with the project which were well, obviously issues with the project, which I'll get into probably in a minute. <laughs> and he didn't like that. Cancelled my, my pledge so that I couldn't comment on the project. And basically he silenced me. And I don't think that's cool. And more recently I backed his Federal 52 Part 2. And he also cancelled my pledge on that. Even though I didn't say a damn thing on that project. Just because I guess he doesn't like me. But I said screw it. And also, I will point out that he said, he promised, and I do have this message in my Kickstarter account. He sent me a message, he responded after he cancelled my pledge for this. He said that he would still send it to me anyway, which is kind of weird. Uh, but in the end, he did not send it to me. Or if he did, it got lost, or it's still on the way. So I picked them up anyways. They're a bit pricey. The one is American based. It says legal tender. A nice foil in green. There is some embossing as well. Some people have noted that the embossing is not lined up properly. I don't see any major issues. Well, okay, maybe I do. <laughs> we'll get into that. Um, Fire box is fine though. And it says 2016. Which is weird because this deck actually only got delivered recently, this year, this summer. It's like a year late, which is another issue. And uh, it's got all sorts of American symbolism. It says E Pluribus Unum, King's Wild Project, and the King's Wild logo on there with the eagle. It says legal tender on one side and foil with embossing and um, dirt. <laughs> then the other side, same thing, top. Again, legal tender. Right in the bottom, nice green foil with his logos. Uh, designed by him, distributed by him. Printed by expert playing cards in Taipei. Which is also misleading because it was actually printed in China. The back, you see the back design of the cards. And you can see there's embossing where there is not even anything there. So that was a... Clear mistake, another issue. That's what people were mentioning before. Just weird embossing. <laughs> and no seal, nice bat design though, embossed. And on the flap, you have the King's Wild logo, with some embossing, I believe. On the other side, same thing, but four. And there's a couple of little logos here on the flap. See, all seen eye, American symbolism, which is embossed as well. And the inside of Tuckers has a speech for uh, Hannah, is it? A, uh, a, a letter written to her, but it's impossible to read. Not only because of handwriting and because of how small it is, but because I can't see inside the Tuckers like that. It's weird. kind of ridiculous. By the way, I will also mention Tuckers are very flimsy. Crapola. <laughs> the other one. Uh, is Chinese. It's got this beautiful kind of foil on it. Chinese symbols, which I'm guessing says legal tender. Nice flow elements, nice colors, some embossing. It says legal tender on one side and the other. Top, just the flow elements, the bottom. Nice holographic logos and the same information. And in the back, more embossing. Let's see how this one turned out. This one actually looks like it's fine. A nice flow and nice colors. Flow elements and nice colors. And then flat, more of the same flow elements. And little yellow stars. I guess there's stars all over the place. The flaps and inside the tuck case. And this one actually has the writing on the bottom as well. And uh, no letters. <laughs> For the American one, you get a couple of jokers, they're diptych jokers, it's the uh, 
Mount Rushmore. I think that's how it goes. Or is it the other way? Oh, definitely this way. Which is cool. Couple of stars in the corners. And uh, the backs. Pretty nice green colors. Follow that American symbolism. And of course, the King's Wild logo. Nice line work. Just like money. And it's pretty cool. The Ace of Spades. Nice gold pip. That says United States King's Wild Project. With more American symbolism and eagles. The Ace of Hearts has different eagles in the background. The Ace of Clubs. And you can see each one kind of has a different color representing a different American uh, note. This one's got a different eagle. And the Ace of Diamonds has the flame of liberties. Statue of Liberty. A reddish color. So each one has kind of its own unique little color, which is kind of cool. I'm a fan of that. Now, one thing that was a big fail on Zaxxon's part that I brought up. The, these are the, the issues I brought up on his project page. A, the project is way overdue. B, he wasn't delivering what he advertised. And I find that to be unacceptable. <clears throat> it's like if you... It's like, let's say, if PlayStation put out a game that was supposed to be, you know, action and guns blazing, and you get home and you put it in, and it's like Super Mario Brothers or something. It's misleading, and it's not delivering what you promised. That game might still have some action and adventure in there, and, you know, killing and stuff like that, but it's not the guns blazing that was advertised. Um, not really a good um, metaphor, I guess, but you get the idea. These cards were supposed to have, at least the American ones, were supposed to have a holographic strip going through the middle just like in American currency, like in most currencies, if not all currencies. And I don't see how or why that was a problem doing that. But I can understand if it's not doable. The problem is Jackson Robinson should have gone out before advertising and promoting and selling this very interesting, unique feature. He should have gone to expert playing cards or legends or whoever and said, is this doable? Is it possible? Before he launched the project or even before it ended. The fact that he didn't figure this out until after the project ended, that it was going to be an issue, is my problem. Do a little research. Find out if it's doable. Don't just advertise something and then go, oh wait, so I can't do it. I mean, it's not like we haven't seen foil in playing cards before, so I don't see why it's a problem. But it just wasn't doable, I guess, and didn't happen. It doesn't really take away from the cards, but it's a major feature that was advertised, a very unique feature that was advertised, and is not in the deck. In the decks, in both of them. Um... The other thing is there was also like special edition wooden or er, boxes that ended up being wooden. That was not the original plan. They were supposed to be like uh, ammo cases or whatever. And that's another major problem. So, so many issues. And then he doesn't like hearing about them. He doesn't like hearing about his mistakes, I guess. I mean, who does? But I mean, if he can't deal with the shit, get into some of the work of, uh, line of work, in my opinion. The court cards, let's move on here, uh, feature American symbolism and figures, the beautiful. Each one has a nice big kind of a jumbo index. There's a little unnecessary mini index in there as well. Although I guess it could help if you're holding your cards really close together. You can maybe see them. And it's only on the court cards for some reason. And there's also a, another index in the opposite corners in gold. The cards feature all sorts of... Uh, Little serial numbers, I don't know who
who they represent or what they represent. This might be like Jackson Robinson's birthday or something. I don't know. But very cool. Each one has its unique own little color. Beautifully done. As usual from Jackson Robinson. But yeah, there was just so many issues with this project and he has basically, you know, said if you don't like it, don't buy it and whatnot, and which is fine, but that's not addressing the issues. Uh, the number cards, standard Jackson Robinson pips with those backgrounds on there. The spades have that letter and these have the same things as the aces, as you can see. And that is that. Pretty cool. Let's look at the other deck really quickly before my battery dies. This one has the Chinese one. It's got diptych tokens again. This time it is the Great Wall of China. And this time instead of having things in both corners, you just did the one corner and the other corner some Chinese writing, which I'm guessing uh, it says Joker or something. Very cool though. Very nice. The back design, that nice floral element. I don't know much about Chinese currency, but I'm guessing that is similar. It's supposed to be the idea anyways. Um, I'm actually hoping he still does a Canadian one, although he might not, because he knows how much I'd like that, so he's probably no way screwed. Ain't doing that, not to satisfy Vito's 32. The Ace of Spades, beautiful, with nice dragons on there, and floral elements. The Ace of Hearts. More dragons, or actually those are, those are birds, or um, swans, I guess it is. Very cool. The Ace of Clubs, more nice artwork. And birds, peacocks, I'm guessing. Mm. No, probably not. I'm not sure what those are. Maybe they're roosters. Something Chinese. <laughs> and here we got, oh, there we go. There's the peacock. I think that's the peacock on the Ace of Diamonds. Very nice. Each one kind of has its own color scheme. The court cards is where I have a slight issue. Very slight. The Ace of Hearts, uh, sorry, the King of Hearts, you get the same index as, except these ones got a little red one instead of gold. Nice Chinese uh, details and figures, of course. What I have a problem with is, well, I guess each one has kind of its own unique color scheme with the I would have preferred the index to be a little bit more red so that it stands out from the clubs and the spades, like the Hara Diamonds does, as you can see. Each one has its kind of unique little banner behind the letter. Nice custom pips. Nice artwork. Ah! I apologize. Uh, just nice all around, of course. Tiny symbols on each one as well. I don't know what they say. Don't ask. Anyone wants to translate or tell me who these people are? That would be great as well. I apologize if I'm going a bit fast. I get that complaint sometimes. <laughs> but you can always pause and look at that if you want. Or there is pictures online, of course, somewhere. But they're beautifully done. And then you get to the number cards, again, dragons in the background. This one, you get those swans, I think it is. Clubs, whatever was in there, it's kind of hard to make out. And the diamonds of the peacocks. They all stand out, they're very nice, colorful decks. And that's all fine and dandy. I do like the faces, I do like the artwork, I like the bad designs. But then there's the handling. The handling was another issue with a lot of complaints. Um, and I can see why. You can see how much it clumps. And that was another issue as well I'm getting to. I'm not a huge fan of this stock and finish they used. And the reason, one of the reasons why the handling is the way it is, is because it was printed in China. Instead of Taipei or Taiwan. Which, by the way, is what was advertised in the project. It was advertised as Taiwan printing. Nowhere did it say China. Not until some update sometime later on did he say that it was going to be printed in uh, China. And he didn't even make a big deal about it. Just that he just mentioned 
something about the factory in China. Up until that point, everyone thought it was Taiwan printing. So the handling is hurt by the fact that it's printed in Taiwan and uh, sorry, in China. It's printed in China, and it's just, it's not the best. Sometimes their handling is kind of hit or miss. And why? Why was it printed in China? Oh yes, because apparently that's where the tuck cases were going to be made, even though they are flimsy and kind of crappy. And I don't usually make a whole lot of mention about tuck cases, but those. I think are especially flimsy. And the other thing that bugs me is, you know, people pay a lot of money for Jackson Robinson decks and products. His name has a lot of, you know, recognition and value to people. And he is being cheap. You only print in China if you're being cheap because I'm sure it's a lot cheaper to print in China than it is Taiwan. And the cheaper he produces it, the more money that goes in his pocket. He doesn't really... It doesn't seem like he cares a whole lot about backers, only about himself. Jackson Robinson is letting his ego get the best of him. A lot of people, if you go to United Cardists, you'll see there's a lot of people like me who are unhappy with his tactics as of late, with his projects as of late. And the fact also that he is not responding to people. He flat out said in a post on Instagram to somebody that He's not going to be going on to United Cards anymore because he doesn't want to, you know, deal with those issues. He doesn't want to face his critics, basically, is what it is. And that's not acceptable either. So that is that. I am going to say... Uh, I don't know what to say. I will say 6 out of 10 because we did not get what was advertised. We did not get Taiwan printing. Handling is not great. The artwork is fine. I like the artwork. It's perfect. It's exactly what I expected, or more, more or less, minus the uh, holographic strips. But, I mean, it could have been a lot better. And just his whole attitude about the whole thing really turns me off. So that is that. You can get these from most Magic Sops and Card Sops. They're a little bit pricey, like 25 bucks each. So... I don't know. You decide whether or not you want to get it. I, I don't know if I'm going to be getting any more of his projects. Especially doesn't hope that he doesn't want me to get any more of his projects. But anyways, that is that. And that's another thing. It's pretty bad when a creator does not want a person to back his project because he's afraid of what that person is going to say. He's afraid of a little criticism. And that speaks volumes in my opinion. Anyways, that's that. Let me know what you think about this whole issue, this whole situation. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.